sell as factory analogy. All living organisms, big or small, are composed of cell. Cell is the basic unit of life. Some organisms like bacteria, yeast, and protists are unicellular, which are consisted of only one cell. While organisms like tree and animals are multicellular, which are made up of many cells. Your body has billions of cells, while very large animals like elephant has trillions of cells. Robert Hooke was the one who discovered cell in 1665 by examining a very thin slice of cork. He thought the close-up view resembled small empty rooms. He referred these tiny rooms as cells. Cell comes from the Latin word cellulae, which means small rooms. A cell is made up of tiny organs called organelles that perform specific functions. Organelles are tiny organs that have their own functions. They are subcellular structures that perform various jobs inside cells. The organelles present in both animal and plant cells are cell membrane. Nucleus Nucleolus Ribosomes Mitochondrion Golgi bodies Smooth endoplasmic reticulum Rough endoplasmic reticulum Vacuous Lysosome and cytoplasm. To understand the functions of those organelles, you can imagine cell as factory with different departments, each performing a specialized task. The walls of the factory are the cell membrane. They enclose the factory and guard to whoever comes in and out of the factory. Cell membrane Cell membrane is also called as the plasma membrane. It encloses and protects the cell from the outside environment. It also allows entry of materials needed by the cell and eliminates those which are not needed. Inside the factory, there is a boss. The boss represents the nucleus. It controls all the movements happening inside the factory and tells how the factory should operate. Nucleus Nucleus is considered as brain of the cell because it controls and regulates all the activities of other parts that occur within the cell. It also houses DNA, the hereditary material, as well as various proteins and the nucleus. Nucleolus Nucleolus is found inside the nucleus that produces ribosomes. The factory cannot operate without energy. The electric station represents the mitochondrion. It provides energy for the factory to continue to operate. Mitochondrion Mitochondrion the plural of mitochondrion is mitochondria. Mitochondrion is one of the largest organelles which is also known as the powerhouse of the cell. It produces energy known as ATP or adenosine triphosphate for the cell. The production workers in the factory represent ribosomes. They produce and assemble products in the factory. Ribosomes Ribosomes are tiny organelles like dots that contain RNA and specific proteins within the cytoplasm. They are also involved in manufacturing proteins. Proteins provide structures and support for cells. The hallway in the factory represents the endoplasmic reticulum. This hallway provides a pathway for the workers 
to transport the products to other rooms. The products are also produced in this hallway Endoplasmic reticulum Endoplasmic reticulum is a tubular network of membranes that transport proteins to different parts of the cell. It consists of two major regions, which are rough endoplasmic reticulum and a smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The hallway with workers represents the rough endoplasmic reticulum. This is the close-up view of rough ER. Rough ER has attached ribosomes on its surface. Rough endoplasmic reticulum Rough endoplasmic reticulum has ribosomes attached to its surface that manufacture various proteins in the cell. Additionally, rough ER is involved in the production of antibodies, insulin, as well as transportation of proteins into the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. On the other hand, the hallway without workers represent the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. This is the close-up view of a smooth endoplasmic reticulum. A smooth ER has no attached ribosomes on its surface. A smooth endoplasmic reticulum. A smooth endoplasmic reticulum has no ribosomes on its surface, resulting to a smoother appearance. It is involved in manufacturing lipids and carbohydrates that are used to build the cell membrane. The packaging department in the factory represent Golgi bodies. Inside this room, the products of the factory are being sorted out and packaged, ready to be delivered to different locations. Golgi bodies Golgi bodies are also called as the Golgi apparatus. They are the organelles that sort, modify, and package cell products such as proteins and lipids into vesicles or vacuoles before they are transported to where they are needed. The storage room or stock room represents the vacuoles. In here, the products of the factory are being kept and transported out of the factory. Vacuoles Vacuoles in animal cells are small and are called vesicles. Vacuoles are spaces inside the cell that do not contain cytoplasm. They are surrounded by membrane and filled with fluid. Vacuoles store various molecules including enzymes, water, food, and waste materials depending on the type of the cell. In the factory, the janitors represent lysosomes. They clean up and break down waste in and around the factory. Lysosomes Lysosomes act the waste disposal system of the cell. They contain enzymes which break and digest damaged cell parts and unused materials in the cytoplasm from both inside and outside the cell. They also destroy invading viruses and bacteria. Lysosomes are also known as suicidal bags of the cell. They program cell death apoptosis by means of bursting themselves when cell is damaged beyond repair. The factory floor represents cytoplasm. It has all the workers, machines, and equipment on it. Cytoplasm Cytoplasm consists of a jelly-like substance where all the organelles of the cell are located. Let us sum up. The walls that enclose and guard the factory is parallel to cell membrane. Cell membrane also encloses the cell and protects the cell from the outside environment. The boss who controls all the activities inside the factory represents nucleus. Nucleus also controls all the activities within the cell. The electric station that provides energy is like mitochondrion. 
Mitochondrion also produces energy for the cell. The production workers who produce products are same as ribosomes. Ribosomes that look like dots within the cell also produce products which are proteins. The hallway that provides a pathway for the workers to transport the products to other rooms is similar to endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum also transports products which are proteins to different parts of the cell. The packaging department that sorts and packs products is equivalent to Golgi bodies. Golgi bodies also sort and pack cell products. The storage room that stores and transports products is identical to vacuoles. Vacuoles also store and transport cell products. The janitor to clean up waste corresponds lysosome. Lysosome also disposed waste. And the floor of the factory that contains workers and machines resembles cytoplasm. Cytoplasm also contains all the organelles of the cell.